That's how close the street is. This is bold. During the course of this movie, uh, we're going to be near a graveyard, not on a graveyard. And uh, I have the utmost respect for the dead and graveyards, etc. So I just want to put that out there. In no way is this movie meant to be disrespectful to the deceased. So we're going to have some fun. I can tell already. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoy this. Hey, guys. Time for the Stealth Camping Alliance October 2022 Challenge Halloween. So we find ourselves at a local cemetery and uh, we're going to make it happen. Okay, we're in. Just uh, scoping it out. Got the forest right over on the edge of this. And we should be able to hang quite easily in there. Uh, this isn't going to be that difficult of a stealth, but uh, it's the spiritual aspect of this attempt that's going to be the part that I'm thinking about. So, we got the park ranger still over there. Okay, we're just laying low in this mausoleum area because uh, the park ranger's right there. And I don't think he's looking at us, but we're looking at him. So we gotta just go find a spot in this forest back here to uh, hang, hang our hammock. The fall colors are just amazing. So there's the cemetery. There's the guy, the man. There's the office. There's the mausoleum area which we're going to come visit in the middle of the night. And there's the beautiful, beautiful fall colors. Okay, this is so perfect. We're able to park here all night. Uh, right at this trailhead, which goes right up behind the cemetery. So, vehicle be safe, hopefully. I mean, anybody can break into anything anywhere. But uh, at least we're not going to get a ticket. So, this is perfect. I'm just going to hit that trail and uh, go scope out a spot to uh, camp. Um, probably as close to the edge of the graveyard as possible, but that's going to mean some bushwhacking because we're coming in from behind. Here's the trailhead, and uh, we're parked right down there, and the cemetery is right at the end of the street. We should be able to find somewhere to hang in there for sure. I'm just going to bushwhack through. Right now, there's an offshoot. Cemeteries due north. Okay, we're in the rainforest behind the cemetery. And uh, we trekked in. It's too thick to get out to the uh, edge of the cemetery so we'll have to do our approach right through the graveyard tonight but that'll be fine just found this perfect spot to urban camp perfect place to hang but uh, it's not close enough to the cemetery for our purposes tonight so we're just going to back out and try a different approach, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, so the approach from the rainforest isn't going to be the best. We're going to have to go straight in uh, off of the cemetery. So we're going to do a driving recon of the sem right now and uh, 
just see where the best hole is to uh, get into the forest beside the cemetery. Just going to do a little recon of the area. A lawn cemetery, it's no upright head stones. Just the ones that go flat into the ground. Beautiful area. It's all right in the middle of the big city. That's true urban stealth camping in my mind when you have uh, surrounded by houses and cars and traffic. So there's our target. We're going to find a hole in there. And right in those beautiful fall colors is where we're going to lay our head tonight. Find a hole in there. I think I see one right there. We'll go in just beyond that colorful tree. Got to be careful on our approach. There's all sorts of traffic. Busy street. Let's go in and have a look. Here's a memorial to our fallen members of the military. The three arches represent each arm of the Canadian military. The Royal Navy, the Army, and the Royal Air Force the Canadian Army and the Royal Air Force. It's fall, but these flowers are still surviving. There's a couple of guys paying respects to their ancestors over there. They're looking for somebody, I think. Anyway, they're not paying me any, never mind. And all I'm doing is taking nature photography, so we're totally good. I'm gonna try and stay close to the corner as possible. Let's see what's going on over in this corner. Okay. We got a ditch, big deep ditch. We're gonna have to come in from the other side. This is where we're going in, right by these guys. Okay, this is looking very favorable. We got all sorts of cover. I got my green tarp. There's the two right there. It's perfect. Let's see. 
Uh, nobody's going to be messing with this. So this guy right here, this guy right here, or maybe these, this guy, and this guy. We'll we'll figure it out. Okay, I'm going to get camp set up. Okay, I haven't got it all done yet, but I hear a dog. That's how close the street is. This is bold. Okay, infrared mode is working great. So that's what we're going to be working with tonight is infrared mode. I'm going to supplement with additional lighting. There's our camp. And we're going to go off to the karaoke bar and have some fun. There's the houses over there. See you guys in a bit. We're in there. There's an opening right here. I can show you. I'll zoom in. You can see us right there. Somewhere over there. I can't even find it myself. It's blending in pretty good. So we'll be back. Okay. Here we are, and I think what we're going to have tonight is uh, yeah. the Reuben at this karaoke bar. Before we do our graveyard stealth, we want to make sure we get some uh, good energy in case we got to run from any ghosts and stuff. So here we go. We're going to have the Reuben sandwich tonight. I gotta thank Steve the transit camper for turning up turning me on to this beverage. I love that stuff. So we're gonna enjoy our Guinness. I love little Amber. Sandwich. She's such a good little girl. Cheers, and cheers to the Stealth Camping Alliance. And cheers to just Stealth Camping, and cheers to the uh, YouTube subscribers, and cheers to YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna head into the mausoleum. Um, we've got this on infrared, so we'll see. A little bit of light helps. That's a street light. Don't wanna turn any flashlights on. It's just too, uh, it would be too suspicious. Okay, so we're at the mausoleum area. It's about 12.30. The karaoke was fun. And uh, we're getting back here a little later than we'd. A lot of people would ask the question, am I scared to be in a graveyard at night? And the answer is absolutely no. No fear whatsoever. I would have been at one point, but this uh, uh, is not the case anymore. It's pretty uh, quiet. Anyway, I'm going to head back to camp. See you guys when I get there.
here's the challenge of finding it in the dark now. Home sweet home. Well that's it guys. This is a complete fail. I jumped in the hammock and it sprung a leak. Tore. This one was torn before. So there's nowhere to repair that in the field so that's uh, the end of this what was such an exciting and fun stealthy. So anyway we're going to regroup and figure this out. We're out of here though. There's no sleeping. I didn't have any other sleeping backup unit. It tore and so there's no way it's supporting anymore. Okay well that ended rather abruptly. We're back at the falcon's nest and uh, yeah the hammock tore didn't have another backup sleep system so lesson number one always bring bivy bag and air mattress first time the falcons had to bail on a stealthy but it just mustn't have uh, been meant to be so anyway uh, upside is I'm gonna get a really nice comfortable sleep inside here I just left the camp set up it's uh, pretty stealthy and I didn't want to start tearing things down I'm going to go back in the morning and clean up and leave no trace so anyway thanks very much for watching if you like these kind of videos please hit the thumbs up like button if you'd like to see more hit subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell and choose all and you'll be notified when the videos come out so thanks again Maltese Falcon out.